Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and today's episode number 61. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, it's been a little while since I filmed any videos, uh, especially a No Catchy Name episode. I think it's been like two and a half, almost three weeks. And it's just personal reasons, not really anything I want to talk about, <laughs> but nothing terrible either. It's just, you know, uh, I've just stepped back from YouTube for a little while to do some things at home and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, I'm back and I do have some finished objects and a couple whips. Um, I have one whip that I'm actually working on and a couple that's kind of hibernating, but I need to finish. <laughs> so, uh, I think the last time I saw you guys was before Halloween. And, um, if you're on the Facebook group, you know, I'm pretty active over there, but I haven't been active pretty much anywhere else. But, um, you know, Halloween came and went and was good and fun. And we had a lot of fun doing uh, all the Halloween things. And, yeah, so now it's almost Thanksgiving. Let's see here. What is today? Today is Monday. Thanksgiving is two weeks Thursday. So, it's getting here. <laughs> it's going to be Thanksgiving before we know it. And then Christmas. Um, you can't really see it. There's some slight glows up here. But I, we do already have a lot of our Christmas decorations up, including our tree, which is right there. Uh, I was trying to figure out an angle to have it in the background, but I didn't want to bother with it. I just thought I'd sit on the couch. And I put my letter board back up. I don't know how good you can read it, though. Last time it seemed far away. It's pretty big, actually. I would like to have a small one, too, because I have small ones. So that I could interchange. And you can also buy different fonts for the letters. And I'd like to get some of those just so I can make a big word and then a little word or something. You know, whatever. Anyways, sidetracking. <laughs> uh, everything is fine and getting back to normal now, and so I'm hoping to start filming videos again reg regularly or ish. I've never really been on a set schedule, but I've had videos come out on a week week to week basis, so I'm hoping to get back into doing that. Anyways, I'm going to get going with my finished objects because I have seven or eight finished objects. I don't have them all here to show. Uh, a couple of them's missing that I'll have to pop a picture of or something but uh i got most of them actually i think there's just one that's not here one actually there's another one that's not here but i made two of them so you can see one <laughs> but i'm gonna go ahead and hop in and uh yeah so the first one i'll go ahead and talk about it real fast because i don't have it here it was a present for my nephew uh he wanted it just he just wanted it some of his friends at his school um like Pokemon. He doesn't really know much about Pokemon, but because they like it, he likes it. So he wanted a Pokemon, a Pokeball hat. And uh, my sister sent me a picture of one that she, he wanted, but he wanted it a different type of one. So uh, she sent me a picture of just a regular Pokeball slouchy beanie, and but he wanted a Master Ball one. So I just went ahead and whipped it up real fast. I didn't use a pattern because it's just it's basic. Just a couple color changes. It's like I started with the purple. And I'll pop up the image. I <laughs> uh, started with the purple and worked down and changed to black and then white. And then uh, the three circles are just circles. The two pink ones and then the button on the ball is just a little bit of white and then black. And the M is, what's it called? Surface crochet, I think is what it's called. A surface single crochet, I think, it, or slip stitch. I don't know what it's called. I did that to make the M. But yeah, so that was super easy. Uh, hat to make and made it, you know, just in a sitting. Uh, and gifted it to him. He loves it. <laughs> and yeah. So the next finished object, I got two more that was just no patterns used. The next one is a po another Pokemon related one. Um, you've all probably seen my Magikarp hat that I wear to the Pokemon Community Days. Uh, the, the last one was just this last Saturday. November 10th was uh, the Community Day for November. And um, Devin, I was making Devin a Pikachu hat or not Pikachu, it's some other Pokemon that looks like Pikachu, but um, when I finished it, neither of us really liked it. The portions were just off because it was such a large hat because he has a big head uh, that looked weird, and if I made the little antenna thingies any bigger, they would have been too heavy, and they would have been, I don't know, it, just, it, was, awkward. it was awkward looking. So um, after Pokemon updated doing some kind of event, they made a new hat on the game for players, and it's a Gengar hat, which is another Pokemon. So, um, Devin said, well, you can make me that one instead of the Pikachu looking one. So, I was like, okay. I looked around, there were no patterns, so I was like, alright, I'm gonna have to wing it. So, I did wing it, and it is made with, oh, I forgot the colors for the other Pokemon hat. The Master Ball hat, I'll pop it up again, <laughs> was, um, the purple was the accent color that I talked about in one of my last videos. It's not Amethyst, but it's really close to it. It's Red Heart Super Saver, well, it's Red Heart Accent. It was on clearance forever ago when I bought it. 
and uh, I only had a little bit left and it was enough to make that hat and I had like a little tiny scrap left over like maybe two yards of yarn <laughs> and then white and black and I think that's the pink color was uh, Red Heart Rogue I think it's called Rogue is it Rogue or Rouge I don't know how to say that I always say Rogue but now that I said it out loud it's probably Rouge because it's like the pink of people's cheeks and stuff but anyways that was those colors this is the next hat it's big because it's for Devin's head this is the Gengar hat it doesn't look exactly like the one in the game and I can pop that up too real fast if you guys are interested in what I'm talking about if you don't play Pokemon Go this is what it's based off of except I didn't make his slouchy I thought it would look better as a beanie because in the game it's slouchy but um so this is amethyst and then uh this is cherry red black and then just white but I just made a regular purple beanie it's just a basic beanie <laughs> And all of these little shapes are pretty much the same pattern, just I increased to different sizes, and they're just cones. Um, and they do have fiber fill in them just to kind of make them stand up good. And um, so there's two big ones, a medium one and two littler ones. And then his eyes are half circles, and it's just two um, rows of double crochet, I think. <laughs> I can't remember. And his mouth is, um, I chained like 20 and I half double crocheted or maybe single crochet I can't remember now um, and then, then at the end of each row I let's see how did I do it I single crocheted and then I increased on the end of each row and then I single crocheted and then I increased again up until it was the width that I wanted it and then all the black bits are just uh, embroidered on <laughs> the inside probably looks horrible because when they're their hats for us I don't take the time to hide all the ends I just like knot them off and stuff but when I'm like giving them to people outside the house I finish them off neatly but when they're just gonna stick it at my house I just like I do that <laughs> there's floats and uh, knots and stuff but yeah he likes it he wore it on Saturday I finished it Friday for him uh, we got a lot of compliments between his hat and my hat and actually this community day there was a woman walking around with I assume her daughter she was like eight nine or ten or something like that and they had crochet hats on but their crochet hats were um, they like had a little brim and then a little bit of a Pokemon it was Charmander and Pikachu and then they had like a Pokeball hat on top of the Pokemon it looked really neat but they were home crocheted also you could tell but yeah so that's Devin's Gengar hat and I didn't use pattern I just did it myself <laughs> I thought about writing up the pattern and offering it for free if uh, anyone else wanted or making a tutorial for it or something in case someone else wanted to make it but um, you know obviously I couldn't sell the pattern because it's a licensed uh, character <laughs> but um, yeah the last hat that I made uh, without any pattern except the eyeballs is a Grinch hat <laughs> if you're a member of the Facebook group you would have seen this one because Jesse wore this one we went to the movies um, Friday it was the 9th I think of November and uh, we went to see the new Grinch movie which was really awesome I don't want to spoil it or anything but it's a really good movie I mean if you've seen one Grinch movie you've pretty much seen them all they they're basically the same movie just little bits are different but it's a really good movie so uh, I made Jesse just a Grinch hat <laughs> and it's just a regular beanie with a big giant pom-pom on top of it I just thought that would be cute and it was super cute watching it bounce around on top of his head and then his mouth and his nose and his pupils are all um, embroidered on there. And the eyes are the same off of another pattern I'm going to talk about here in a minute. I just used the same shape because I thought they were grinchy. <laughs> but yeah, so those are super easy to make. There are patterns available for the Grinch hat, but I mean, he's super easy. He's basically green with a giant smile. So you don't really need a pattern to make that. <laughs> Um, a lot of people do use felt, and uh, actually on my Christmas wreath that's hanging up over there, so I pointed that I made last year. Um, that's what I did. I used felt for his eyes on it. Devin helped me cut it out. Okay, that's all the patterns that I made without a pattern. Did I say pattern? That's all the projects I made without a pattern. So now I've got one, two, three, four technically that I made with a pattern. So we'll go into the Grinch again since I was just talking about that. This is the pattern that I got the eyes off of for that hat. This is a paid for pattern by Heidi Yates. It's called, what is it called? Flipped Over Headbands. It's got this pattern plus like three or four other ones. 
but this is the Grinch, so that's why I made this. I made two of these. I made one for myself and one for my mom. That's one of the things that's not here. Uh, you know, I have mine and she kept hers, obviously, but it's a headband. That's the Grinch, and it's made basically the same way as it has, just green with the stitched on face features and um, her pattern for the eyes. And I did, I went ahead and stitched on these um, pupils and his eyebrows. And then he's got like a little Santa hat on that hangs over your head. Uh, that's why it's called the flipped over headbands. And all of her, all of those patterns, oh, I got my ponytails in the way, have uh, a little hat that flips over. But yeah, I think it's super cute. Um, again, like right here is my knot. When it's just for us, I just like, I don't finish it all the way. It's just tied on there instead of weaving in the ends. But yeah, I thought it was cute and it actually helped because it was really cold that night that we went. It was like in the 30s, which is pretty cold for us. I know a lot of places get colder than that. But yeah, I loved it. Um, mine ended up wider for some reason than my mom's. My mom's was a lot more narrow. I think I actually used bigger stitches for mine and smaller ones for her hers but her head just happens to be smaller than mine so it kind of worked out really good but yeah we both loved our um ear warmers and you know because it's christmas themed i can wear it for the next month and a half and it still be good <laughs> this is super cute and like i said this pattern when you buy it it comes with um three or four other little characters i think there's a bear one and like a polar bear um and they all got a little flappy hat thing <laughs> But yeah, it's super cute, quick and cute. It's got a button on the back. It buttons. This one, I actually misread the pattern and made the button hole wrong. See, my buttonhole's up here. It's supposed to be this way. On my mom's, I made it the right way, but it still works either way. It don't matter. But yeah, so I just put my button on there. And it's super cute. I loved it. And you could even take this pattern and make it a hat if you wanted to make it a whole hat. Uh, and you know, you could just make the, what's it called? The crown and then start following the pattern from there. I even thought about doing that for Jesse, but then I just thought I'd go ahead and just make him a regular Grinch hat. But yeah, super cute, and I would suggest buying this. <laughs> I suggest buying all of Heidi's patterns, because she makes awesome patterns. And um, I got an email from her this morning, actually. Since she sends out an email every Monday morning to uh, people who are subscribed to her mailing list, and every Monday morning, her emails have a free pattern in it. And it's either like a link to her blog or a link to her Ravelry store where you put in a coupon code and get a pattern for free. Today's was a pair of mittens, like not mittens, but like fingerless glove mitts. I don't know what those are called, <laughs> but um, I happen to already had it, but that's okay because I'm fine with that. I have the majority of her patterns. All right. Whew, that's a lot of hats. I made a lot of hats this week and actually there's technically two more. <laughs> All right. We're going to move on to the next hat. This hat is going to be featured in our Christmas cards this year. Um, if you get a Christmas card from me, you will see this hat again. <laughs> and if I do Vlogmas, you probably will see this hat again. Um, this is the hat that's going to be for Devin to wear during the Christmas cards. I've got to make Jessie's and mine, and I'm, I'm making Jessie a sweater for it because we have ugly sweaters, and they're legit ugly sweaters. We got them at the thrift store, and they're like 1980s style sweaters. I love them. And um, I'm not going to show them, though. I'm going to wait and keep that a surprise. You will see Jessie's as it gets done because I'm going to be showing it to y'all because I'm making it. I haven't been able to find Jessie one that has a lot of black in it because the ones that we picked out for me and Devin have, are like base. The base is black and then all the decorations are colorful. So I wanted to make Jessie a black little sweater and then make appliques to put on it. Just goofy looking ones, you know, because it's the whole point is to be ugly. Um... But anyways, these hats I'm going to be making is for our Christmas photos also. And i got to get these done before Thanksgiving weekend because on the 25th, which is the Sunday after Thanksgiving, we're going to the Knoxville Zoo because they had a big sale where all month of November, their tickets were 70 cents each because it's like their 70th year anniversary in, you know, of being there. <laughs> so uh, I wanted to take our ugly sweaters and our hats in case they had Christmas decorations up already. So that we could use that as a background. And Pigeon Forge, which is like an hour-ish outside of there. It's like 45 minutes away from there. They've already got their Christmas decorations up. So me and I thought about just shooting on into Pigeon Forge to take advantage of their Christmas decorations for our Christmas cards. So that we could get the pictures made or taken and then I can make the cards and order them real fast so that we can start sending them out for Christmas <laughs> like the week later. Because um, I like sending out my Christmas cards in the beginning of December. It's just a thing I do. <laughs> so I know a few people watching this video right now will be getting some of those Christmas cards because some of y'all are on my list. But um, 
anyways, this is the hat. That was a long thing about the hat. There's only one problem with this hat. <laughs> I have the hardest time knowing which way is the right and wrong way of a pattern until I start it. And I did that with this hat and I ended up sewing, or not sewing, but working some of this inside out technically. But I mean, I know it and other crocheters will know it, but nobody else is going to know it. And it's such a dark color that it's not really noticeable. But anyways, this is the hat I was going to wear for our photos, but I made it too big and I didn't want to rip it out and make it smaller. So it's now Devin's hat. Um, and you guys will know why because I... If you've watched me for the last, like last Christmas time, you know that I love the image of Christmas pudding. Never had it. Probably never will eat it. But I love the image of it. <laughs> so it's a Christmas pudding hat. Someone shared this on, the link to this pattern on my Facebook group because they knew that I love Christmas pudding. I can't remember who it was because it's been a little while. But I did save that pattern and then I actually went back and made it. So that's cool. But, um, dang it, I just realized I forgot to say the colors to all the other ones. I do that all the time. This is the part that I did inside out. This is the inside of the crochet. This is the outside of the crochet and I accidentally attached it backwards. But like I said, I don't, it's not a big deal. The only other issue I have is these little, these are supposed to be like where the pudding is, you know, swooping down. They're sticking up and I need to, I don't know if I can block those and if I can't, I may just get some thread, some light color thread and tack it down a little bit. But yeah, it's Christmas pudding hat. It's too big for my head. I got a ponytail on, so but see how long it is. And I didn't want to rip it back, so I made Devin try it on and it fits him. So and it is just this is the chocolate part of the pudding. And this is the saucy stuff, and then it's got a holly berry. <laughs> I should have used a dark color red, but I was trying to use scraps, and this was a little scrap ball I had left. And uh, this is actually some of the yarn that Holly sent me that I won from her giveaway and actually I'm using another thing from her giveaway also that you'll see in a minute. But yeah, this pattern is, it's paid for PDF but it's free on their website and it's the Christmas Pudding Beanie by Hooked on Patterns and it'll be linked below and all that but yeah, you can get it for free in all sizes. They have like every size, <laughs> baby to adult, uh, large adult um, for free so I thought that was cool. But this yarn is, I can't remember what this is called. But it's those little balls of yarn that Holly gave me. And this is that crazy red color that I always forget what it is that I bought forever ago. And I'm like down to the last little bit of it. And this is some of it. <laughs> this is Mainstay's Beige or Buff or something like that. And then this is Red Heart Super Saver. Chocolate? <laughs> I can't remember. I think it's coffee or something. I don't know. I can't remember. It's their dark brown. It's not the with love. The with love is chocolate. It's whatever the super saver dark brown is. <laughs> but yeah. To backtrack. <laughs> the Grinch hats. This is the Red Heart Super Saver Spring Green that was gifted to me. Um, that I made all three of them with. And black and bright yellow, white, and cherry red. <laughs> Alright. That's all my whips. Or all my finished objects but one. This one was the first one I finished. All them hats. One, two, three, four, five, six, six hats I made last week, which I thought was pretty productive. I felt good. I love making hats because they're like instant gratification things. When you're in a slump and haven't crocheted for a while, make a hat and you feel better. You're like, oh yes, I finished it. And this is technically another little hat that I made right here. It's a little baby hat. <laughs> it's just one of those hats that when it's on their head, it kind of pokes out like ears. And this is part of a set that I'm about to show you. And it is the Owl Cocoon set by She Feels Patterns. It's a paid for pattern. They have a ton of really cool patterns. This is a commission, and the woman who ordered it is still buying it. It's just right bef right as I finished it, her baby got sick, and they're having to do breathing treatments and stuff like that. So she asked me if I could wait a little while, and I told her that it's fine because I didn't spend any money at all making this other than just my time because this is all yarn that I already had except one ball that I had gifted to me because I needed it to finish it, but I technically didn't spend money on it. I traded it with the person who sent it to me so didn't spend any money on it so it's not a big deal if she doesn't buy it I'll just put it up and gift it to someone or someone else wants one later you know whatever that's Al Cocoon <laughs> this is a much larger one than the pattern calls for the pattern is for newborn uh yeah it's zero to three three to six and s I can't remember 
it's something like that but she needed it to be five to like nine ish months because her baby is currently five months old and she wants to be able to use it during the winter season so I made it bigger <laughs> and I measured it and stuff and I made sure that it would fit in a five month old kid up to like a nine month old it's much bigger than the pattern calls it's very pretty this is the first time in a long time that I've used um, crocodile stitch but yeah this is made you make the green part like the cocoon part just a big thing <laughs> and um, all the other bits are sewn on there the eyes and the beak are separate the eyes are one big thing the wings and the little chest piece <laughs> but yeah oh lord I don't know if I can remember all these colors I know it's um it's all red heart super sober light blue i think it's light gray white pale yellow petal pink black <laughs> and uh honeydew which is a really pretty color i've never even heard of that color before someone gifted me a ball and then i think someone gives it to me or my sister got it for me I somehow got a random ball of it and then I ended up needing another one to finish this and then so I got another one gifted to me but yeah I'm pretty proud of this I thought I did pretty good I was worried it's gonna look weird when I was making it but once I actually laid it on the floor and had all the bits laid together getting ready to sew it together I was like oh it actually looks like the picture <laughs> I don't know why I was so like worried about it but it looks pretty good so yeah I have that finished for her and the hat in the picture was blue or green I think and she wanted it purple so I went ahead and made it purple for her and it's here when she wants it and if she changes her mind that's okay I don't mind I don't I rarely ever take commissions normally I just make stuff for people when I want to make it or like my sister or something asks for something I make it without making her pay me but um, every now and then I do commission work for people but it's just rare and I have to know the person it's not like I do it for strangers <laughs> because I don't want the pressure I don't want my hobby becoming a job because then I won't want to do it <laughs> and this is what keeps me sane most of the time all right that's all my finished objects I have so many what was that one two three four five six seven seven finished objects in the last two and a half weeks I guess that's not amazing <laughs> but um all the hats were made in one week I thought that was pretty cool all right whips I only have one active whip uh, I have a few other whips that I need to work on. One is the Frankenstein candy bow. I never finished that before Halloween because that's when all the stuff started happening here. But I am going to finish it and just put it up for next year. No pressure. Uh, my mom's shawl. I need to finish that because it's getting cold. You know, it's cold now. She needs it. <laughs> so I may sit down and work on that uh, this coming weekend and try to get it done for her before Thanksgiving. Uh, I've got a cord in a corner blanket that's hibernating in there that I'll finish eventually. <laughs> but the only active whip I'm working on I just started it a few hours ago so I've not done much work on it because I started it I worked this little bit I'm about to show you and then Jesse started getting a little feisty and he's now sleeping <laughs> but so far this is Red Heart Super Sour Black Woo, I'm pulling stitches it's very holy looking <laughs> it doesn't look I mean it's just gonna be a sweater for pictures and he'll wear a shirt under it because it is Red Heart Super Sour and I don't want the poor little fella itching the whole time but down here is um, five rows of single crochet you can't see it at all because it's black <laughs> uh, that's like the um, the bottom border brim thingy I don't know what that's called in a sweater and then I'm working rows of half double crochet up to eight and a half inches to where this is eight and a half inches and then I will make the armhole spaces <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about this particular pattern is made in four pieces you make the front panel the back panel and the sleeves let me tell you the pattern the pattern is a free pattern I found it on the line brand website it's very hard finding little boy sweaters that don't have hoods on them I didn't want a hooded sweater or a really girly one because they have a bunch that's got like flares and ripple ruffles and stuff on it you know I don't want him to wear a girly looking sweater anyways it's a line brand website it's free you do have to have a login to uh, download it but it's a free login you don't have to pay anything but it's called the next generation v-neck pullover by the line brand company I don't know who wrote, wrote it because it doesn't actually tell you but yeah so this is the front panel I was working on it before he had his uh, ready for nap time meltdown and yeah this is the smallest size and it looks like it may be a little big on him but again it's not a big deal it's just for pictures so um, I was actually thinking after um, we do our pictures I thought I might just, like stuff the sleeves inside of it and stuff it and stitch it up make a little pillow out of it 
to put out for Christmas time because it'd be cute to one have that memory and two it'd be an ugly sweater pillow which was pretty cool to me I think <laughs> but yeah so that's all I got with it and the other holly thing was this this is the hook that I'm using um to make that it's a J right yeah it's a J six millimeter Susan Bates hook which Susan Bates is my favorite and it's one that I won from holly during her giveaway I can't remember what I was celebrating 10,000 subscribers, I think, because she had 10 days of giveaways, and I won one of them, and it came with those little yarns, a bunch of her buttons, uh, pom-pom makers, and this hook. The pom-pom makers I actually gave to my sister because I had a set already of my own that I've been using, so I just gave them to her, my sister because she, uh, she's crafty. She doesn't crochet, but she makes all kinds of other crafts, so I thought she might like to have pom-pom makers, <laughs> but I'm liking this hook so far. I've never really used one with this big of a handle. And it is kind of rubbing me right there. I'm afraid it might get a blister just from not being used to it. But it is definitely easier to hold on to. So, yeah. And it's really pretty. I don't know what kind of wood that is. But it's pretty and smooth. It's purple and yellow. <laughs> but, yeah. That's my only whip that I'm actively working on. I'm hoping to have more. Actually, I know I will. Because i got to get to working on my ornaments for my <laughs> ornament swap. Um, I haven't even done that yet. Uh, what else do I need to work on? my hat for the Christmas photos and Jessie's hat for the Christmas photos. I've already got hats picked out. I just got to make them. And there's something else I need to make. Okay, there's a Christmas gift that I need to make. Um, it won't take too long to make it. It's for my, on the Facebook group I said it was for my, my grandmother-in-law, but it's actually my step-grandmother-in-law, I guess you would say. It's, it's hard. She's kind of related to me in, this, in marriage since. But anyways, I got to make her a Christmas gift, so I got to work on that pretty soon. <laughs> what else do I need to do? Oh, I will be making bags. I actually sewed some today, some Thanksgiving bags that I'm going to be trying to put up before this weekend. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out. I do have to go to the store and get some interfacing. I may do that tomorrow. And then I will be getting winter bag and Christmas bag material soon and starting on them. I'll probably, let's see here, probably the weekend after Thanksgiving, not Thanksgiving weekend, but the one after that, <laughs> I will start putting those up in the shop. And right now, everything that's in the shop, there's only a few things left, but I'm trying to like clear it out. Um, everything that's in there is 50% off. So a lot of, there's still a few autumn bags and a few Halloween bags that are like $14 if you're interested. And some may even be cheaper than that, I'm not sure. I don't really have too much other, too much anything else, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of other stuff to talk about other than the ornament swap is going strong. Um, everybody, I'm pretty sure I've heard back from everybody, so I'm glad of that. I know some people is working on their stuff already. <laughs> I know for sure my sister is because she showed me. <laughs> I'm hoping to make a video soon of Christmas patterns, like a roundup of my favorite Christmas patterns or ones I want to make, like I did with the Halloween patterns a, few, a month or so ago. And I'm also going to make a video of all the ones I've got currently. <laughs> I'm looking around because i got, you know, crocheted stuff everywhere, decorating and ornaments on my tree. I've got, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got at least eight, nope, nine, right there, nine. <laughs> got at least nine ornaments that I've crocheted for my tree. Uh, yeah, so I will show them off and all that and link all the patterns if y'all are interested. And yeah, I am wanting to do Vlogmas. <laughs> already ruined some of it because I already decorated for Christmas. <laughs> Last year that was like one of my first Vlogmas videos was us decorating. But um, I couldn't put it off any longer. <laughs> I just feel much happier with decorations up. Once we took down Halloween, it was so empty in here, I couldn't stand it. And I only have a handful of Thanksgiving fall decorations, and they are up. I got my turkey wreath right over there, and I do have a crocheted turkey floating around here somewhere, but I had it up here, but Jesse took off with it. And I got some Thanksgiving decorations outside, and I am waiting to decorate for Christmas outside for another week or so. Just because I want to use that wreath that was gifted to us. That's a fall wreath. And um, then I will switch it out for the Christmas one she made us last year. Which I love. I love the Christmas one. And finish decorating for Christmas. There are some things in here that I still got to do. I want to do Vlogmas because I think we'll be doing a lot of stuff during uh, Christmas. <laughs> we, I mean, we did a lot of stuff during Halloween. I didn't think we'd be that busy. That's one reason I failed at vlogging and stuff because we were so busy I didn't even have the time to film 
but um, last year, you know, we did a lot of stuff. This year, there's two parades, and they're on different days, so we might be able to go to both of them, <laughs> and um, I'm hoping that they do that Christmas tree exhibit again. I don't know if, if y'all watched it last year, but it was really cool. There was like a whole room full of different trees decorated by different companies and stuff. It was really cool. But yeah, there's just a lot of stuff that we'll be getting into this year, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm hoping that I do Vlogmas, and I hope that you guys watch it and enjoy it. And I'm going to get some other videos up and out now that I'm getting back into the groove of it. And yeah, this has been a 30 minute video. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to go ahead and end it here and clean up before Jesse wakes up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.